think gratitude's a spiritual discipline. And whenever I talk to people about spiritual disciplines, it's an intimidating thing. And so I try to make it, my first order of business is to make it accessible and approachable. So I talk to somebody about prayer. And I say, you know, you don't have to read, uh, you know, a, a book about how someone prays and replicate what they do. That'll work for a couple of days. And you hit a wall and you think, I can't pray. I don't know how to pray. So I try to make it accessible and say, God wants to hear from you, commune with you. And there's a lot of ways to do that. And it's, you know, it, I try to make it nebulous, that it's not quantifiable and it's not too measurable because all those things are intimidating but with gratitude I think it's different I think gratitude is more tangible I think it's um, it's more measurable I was trying to think of the most the person who embodies gratitude the most in my life I have a friend who is great at writing thank you notes. And I'll do something for him that seems really menial in the context of a friendship. And two days later, I'll have a handwritten thank you note in my mailbox. And that's who he is. Uh, but the cards are still a surprise. I've known him for five years. And every time I get a thank you note from him, I'm still surprised because it will normally be after something I've done for him that if someone had done for me, I wouldn't write a note about. And so, so you know, someone may hear that and say, well, Josh, that's not necessarily the most grateful person you know. That's just the person who's best at expressing gratitude. And I think... What's the difference? You know, if, if this is my level of gratitude, but this is my expression of gratitude, what's this? What's this stuff that I'm grateful for that I'm not expressing? And the sobering thought to me as a person who needs to do better at that kind of thing is that um, I'm not sure our level of gratitude can go beyond our expression of gratitude. I don't know that I can be more grateful that I'm willing to express my gratitude. So, so what I say is not, I need to be better at writing thank you notes. What I say about myself is, I need to be more grateful. So is he more grateful with that expression than I am? I would say over years, he has honed an ability to see things for which he should express gratitude. He, he sees the opportunity to express gratitude in ways and in places that I do not see. Um, I think being willing to express gratitude which I believe is synonymous with being grateful, is, is the antidote to so many of the things that ail us as humanity. You know, busyness. I think of the excuses I give myself for not expressing gratitude. I'm too busy. Or I'll get around to it. I'll put it off. Busyness and procrastination are both bad things. Uh, a sense of entitlement. I, you know, I really deserve this. Uh, I'm not going to be grateful if I think you really owed me that as my friend. I won't write a note if you think if I think that that you that I deserve that because I have a friendship with you. Um, I think honing a spirit of gratitude neutralizes a lot of bad things that can creep up in our souls. Having a developed, mature sense of gratitude, I think, is a sign of spiritual maturity and a sign of a, of a healthy person. Um, we have so much for which to be grateful, and 
uh, you know, you ask someone, are you, are you a grateful person? Yeah, I'm a grateful person. Of course I am. I'm, I'm, I have so much to be thankful for. Well, to the people who help make you such a blessed person, know that you're grateful that, that they're in your life. And that's when things get a little dicier. And we have this assumption that everyone just knows. Of course, you know I'm grateful for you. Right? You know that I'm grateful to have you in my life. Well, that's not necessarily so. And even if I know that you know that I'm grateful for you, I still need to express that. Maybe even more so for myself than for the person that I'm thanking. In my own life, um, my, my father died when I was very young. My mother raised me. She never remarried. We didn't have a lot. <clears throat> so a lot of people did a lot for us. And when I was young, um, rather than teaching me to be grateful, she taught me to say thank you. And, and me saying thank you to people because my mom told me to, preceded my sense of gratitude. I don't know that one would have come without the other. But, you know, what do you say? That prompting um, from her to me preceded my maturity to say thank you. To realize this person didn't need to do this um, and they did and I'm I'm better because of it and and the sad thing is that by the time you develop that maturity so many of the people who have invested so much in you to make you the person that that you're mature enough to say thank you they're not there to thank anymore so they're part of that cloud of witnesses and you thank God for them um, and you learn to say thank you while you have the chance to do so. That's definitely the case with me. Um, not that I express it as much as I should. Um, it's definitely a learning, learning, I'm still on that learning curve. Um, but I know enough of gratitude to know I want to have more of it. And that I'll be better, I'm a better person the more grateful I am. What are some things you're grateful for? I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I have to do this work, um, which kind of overlaps with my passion and who I understand God has called me to be. Just that thing right there, that simple thing is, is beautiful, and I don't take that for granted. Um, I'm thankful for my education because a lot of people sacrifice so that I could have the education that I use in my work. Um, I'm thankful for my mom, my upbringing, the small town where I was raised, taught about interpersonal relationships because everybody knew everybody. Um, I'm thankful for God and the opportunity that I have to discover in new ways, new new opportunities to be thankful for God uh, and hopefully a deepening understanding little by little of what God is doing for me and doing with me. Perhaps Thanksgiving is, is a societal way of saying, say thank you. And sometimes we say things and we don't know the depth of the meaning of what we're saying. But we maybe, maybe through um, the opportunity through a holiday to say, I'm thankful and, and here's why, or say thank you maybe we begin a journey toward deep gratitude 